Jazz, DJ Jazz, did you always, always want to have a party? And when I get guests like this, this is what happens with Joe. All right, joining me on the set right now is clearly the premier producing duo, not only in the city of Philadelphia, but really in the world. They make up Karma Productions. They are Carvin Hagens and Ivan Various. Gentlemen, how are you? What's going on, man? That was a very generous intro, man. Yeah, the, world, the world. The world. Yeah. Sort of pressure it's, right getting it's getting kind of hectic. It's getting. It's getting kind of hectic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of the things, we just had Eric Benet on, and artists really don't become that big without great producers. Yeah. And YouTube definitely represent that. Talk to my viewers about what it really takes to kind of create the songs, to produce the albums, the projects that make people like Eric Benet platinum selling and all of Jill and music. And I think, first of all, it, it starts with a, a lack of an ego, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Keeping your ego in check and understanding that although you are the person that's tasked with helping these people, you know, achieve the ultimate success, it's not your show. Mm -hmm. So you have to know how to check your emotions and understand that no matter what, they're going to be the ones to look grand. And it's your job to make sure that everything goes accordingly and, and you create the perfect environment okay. and, 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 and kind of like be there as as their guy because a lot of times they're relying on your on, on your on your trust and, and they're putting a lot of faith in you to help them make the decisions that they can't make as an artist. You know, that's a very yeah. emo emotionally driven industry. Yeah. 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 So. And also um, with that you gotta be a psychologist. Like you you mm -hmm. you're the you're the uh, doctor while they're laying on the couch. Yeah. And really it's all about being a chameleon. You gotta be able to transform into what you need to transform into without offending them to make sure you can get the best product. Because the bottom line, and, and our main thing is, it's about the, the finished product. Sure. It's not, a, like you said, we don't, we don't go on with ego. So the mission is, you the star, we're just here to make sure you shine as bright as you can possibly shine. Okay. And that's what we do you know, in our creation. What's the be uh, best song you guys have produced thus far? They, all of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can't pick you no know favorite, what? It's funny. The funny thing is, I was talking to somebody last night in the studio, it's like, mm -hmm. I, we always feel that our best songs are the ones that end up being like album cuts. Okay. Yeah. But as far as success, I, I would think probably one of the most success. We had a lot of success with, with, with different records like you know Love and Half Crazy and mm -hmm. Don't, Don't Change. Change and Teach Me How to mm -hmm. Love and Buddy. So and again with again, Faith it was, it and was, then was, Find My Way Back. Find My Way Back, Hustle yeah. with Raheem Devon. So yeah. it's always like songs that at that time when they come out they feel like okay this is this is the this is the best one yeah. so but i would say we've experienced a lot of success you know recently yeah. with you know with teach me and mm -hmm. uh finding my way back yeah. and if you leave with uh you. with uh music and Mary. Mary J. ever had yeah. a song catch you guys off guard and literally while you're in the midst of producing it you go wow this thing is even better than i had even ever imagined yeah that happens all the time yeah. like okay. with, when the record when you have an idea in your mind of what you think it's going to be and it turns out to be exactly what you hear in your head, it's amazing. Like every time, every time the record's done, it's like, wow, because we never get a chance to enjoy the record as we're Absolutely. making. Everything is technical. We got to make sure he's making sure the music is right, right, making sure the vocals is right, making sure the lyrics is right. He deals with all the musicians. So he's making sure that's right. So you're so engrossed in it, it's hard for you to really right. take, yeah. take, take in full measure of you what's really lot, going on. You, you know when something's special, you know there's magic. Not to sound cliche, but yeah. you can kind of feel the magic, but it, don't, it doesn't really hit you until after the fact. You're driving and you cut, a, cut the radio on and you right. hear, you know, <laughs> Power 99 or 103 and you hear your, your record, record on it on and it, it's yeah. like, okay. And then you hear, you know, DJs going in on it or you right. put the TV on and you see the video. Or you see some comment, and then when you start really hearing and meeting people telling you how the record impacts them or impacted them, that's when you really then you realize, then you, like, yeah, right. then you realize, wow, something really magical. Yeah, just you remove from the technical side, then then it's like, wow, I didn't get a chance to actually embrace what it is and now what it we're does. appreciating the art. Right, exactly. Right. Yeah. I've got Carbon and Ivan on the Michael Sim show, and when we come back, I'm gonna tell you how they met, and uh, we're also gonna talk a little bit more about the Philadelphia sound. Carvin and Ivan on the Michael Sim Show. Oh, hey, listen. Oh. Pardon me, darling, if I alarmed you. I don't mean to bother you. I just.
brought to you by Eatable Delights, a full-service off-site catering and event planning company. Eatable Delights is headed by Chef David Sims, who has been featured on CBS3, Your Morning on CN8, and The Thea Martin Connolly Show. Call Eatable Delights at 215-236-3900 or catch them on the web at www.eatabledelights.com. Eatable Delights, bringing Eatable Delights to metropolitan Philadelphia. Dear summer fun lover, what a coincidence. I'm all about fun. Get this, I have museums that make kids say, can we do that again? And fun needs food, right? Did you hear I'm one of the great restaurant towns? Top chefs, iron chefs, and every kind of chef in between. From yum to yay, I have eight pro sports teams to get loud about. Add in shopping, sites, amazing nights, and of course, I'm where this whole US of A thing got started. So fun? Yep, I have that. With love, Philadelphia. P.S. Pack your bags. Get here already. Super producing duo, Carbon and Ivan, and joining me on the show today. Gentlemen, how'd you guys meet? What? We met what we call the School of Hard Knocks, DJ <laughs> Jazzy Jeff's <laughs> A Touch of Jazz production camp. Yeah. Uh, I think if you trace like... Is that know, a, it was, let me say, boot, is it Jazz's boot camp? Or is it? I was a boot camp. Okay. Right. It, it, was, it, was, it was like a summer camp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> with, a, with a high tuition. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, but um, I think if you, we always say, if you trace like the history of the modern Philadelphia sound, right. all avenues lead through Jazzy Jeff's camp. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah. you know, we met down there. Dren Vidal came through there. James Poiser came through there. Right. Victor Duplay. Um, Keith and Darren, Keith and Darren yeah. of course, who were all the original six. Right. But yeah. it's like a lot of the people that ended up splintering out of there came through Jeff, and that's when we met yeah. in the mid '90s. You know, Jeff yeah. was it was like 16 people at one time producing. Oh, the hot MC, you know what I'm saying? He was a hot he was MC. All rappers down there, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. so we can pass the mic and nah, 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 okay. nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I mean, I still got a hot 16. I, you know, he <laughs> shot to be shot. Um, you guys, um. Really, when, when you are talked about in the city of Philadelphia, you two are the two that most people say have been handed the mantle. And by that, I mean when you think about Philadelphia music, you're talking about Gamble and Huff. And a lot of people that I talk to have been here on the show. Well, the mantle is now in Carvin and Ivan's hands, and we feel secure in that. Talk to me about how that makes you feel, and, wow. and what does that mean for you moving forward in your careers? You know, um, for... For me, it's definitely an honor to even to even be mentioned in the same sentence with Gamble and Huff. Mm. You know, growing up as a kid, you know, waking up to wake up everybody, no more sleeping in bed. Yeah. You know, as a kid, falling in love with me and Mrs. Jones and not even knowing what the song is about. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's like to even know that that what we've created has been embraced by our city okay. and is being loved by that our city. And it's good that the people could call us that and we don't have to make that name for ourselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's an honor. The cool thing about it is if you look at the history of Gamps and Huff, they give a lot of people opportunities in the oh, city. Yeah. You know, oh, they yeah. they they're they're synonymous with a lot of careers. So if people view us as that and you know, that's like he says, truly an honor because we do we take take pride in helping artists and producers and songwriters and musicians. Yeah. That's one thing that I think once you look at our legacy it, it It'll kind of be one, and aside from all our accolades, accolades yeah. we've received, you'll see that we work with everybody in the city. You know, yeah. we try to bring the city and bridge the gap, and yeah. old and young, and make sure that everybody, everybody can come can through come and together. add yeah. to the to the sound. And yeah. that's truly an honor, though. Yeah. I didn't know they were saying that. Though. A lot of folks are saying that. So you guys are, are doing a phenomenal job. Like Let me ask you this: Who are you working with right now? Because you guys are always working with everybody. But who's hot? getting ready to come out of Carmel Productions. We've got something hot coming out. Well, we're in the studio right now working on songs for Keisha. Oh, okay. Keisha oh. and Trey. Good okay. Trey. Yeah. And Bow Wow and Bow -wow. Raheem Devon. Raheem Devon. That's, yeah. that's the next artist in the chamber, too. Yeah. We yeah. also develop an artist as well. We have an artist by the name of uh, Kurt Chambers. Yeah. He's an amazing guitar Earth. singer. Yeah. yeah. He's on tour with Eminem. And yeah. And then we, we got a uh, group, yeah. Daniel Sun. Which so yeah, everybody's talking, talking about. about yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, we, you know, we're doing what we can do, and our label is called Forever Music. Okay. So and it's, it's again, it's dealing with what we believe in. The music has to have integrity to last forever. So yeah, we we doing what we can do. And All plus, right. we putting everybody else in the studio on yeah, writers see, and yeah. musicians who's trying to get on 
we welcome in, welcome them in if they got a talent. If it's good, we can use it. You're keeping yeah. that community of Philadelphia together. Yeah. Every other right. every other city does that. You know that's yeah. what we got to do. Like when yeah. you when you I have to cut you off, but like every other city that's considered a music city in, in the country, they have a synergy. Yeah. And we're trying to make sure that we don't lose that here within our, our own community. Yeah. yeah. That's great. They are the synergy. They are at the nexus of Philadelphia music. They are the super duo producers, Carbon Hagen, Ivan Barry. Gentlemen, thank you for joining me. You know, thank you guys you like, as everybody else got an open ticket. Anytime you guys got an artist, bring okay. them on the Mike Sim show. We can do that. You can do that? Done deal. Definitely. All right, done Definitely. deal. All right, gentlemen, yeah. thank you for joining me. No problem. All Thanks right, when we come back, I got some more show. And yeah, uh, we, I didn't forget about the artist spotlight. They can hate if they wanna I don't mm -hmm. care Yeah